Hi, Andrew Kramer here with Video Copilot. Hopefully this tutorial will serve as a foundation as well as give you a good idea about most of the features inside of After Effects. So the first thing I want to do is create a new composition. So from the composition menu I'm going to select new composition. Your composition is basically your canvas. It's where all your video and all your effects are going to come together. Now in this dialog we're given a bunch of settings to set up our first composition. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select a preset, um, NTSC DV720 by 480. We can also change the resolution, the time code start, and the duration. For now, we'll set the duration to 15 seconds and select OK. As you can see, this composition has a comp window and a timeline. The next thing we need to do is bring in our footage. So, from the File menu, select Import File, and let's just go ahead and select say this sunset clip and I'll go and import another clip maybe this maybe this fire smoke now that we have the clips inside of our project window let's bring them out onto our timeline so to do that we just drag the clip out on the timeline and let it go we can move this around at any point in our 15 second timeline but let's go ahead and line it up with the zero mark the next thing I want to do is kind of go over the buttons and switches of the user interface. So starting with this sunset clip, we have a little eyeball. And this eyeball turns the layer on and turns the layer off. We can also lock the layer. Um, we have our layer source name right here. We can change the mode to many of these popular modes that you may know from Photoshop. But we'll get into that a little bit later. We have the toggle quality switch. We have frame blending, which blends the frames if we do say a speed change or something of that sort. There's motion blur switch, adjustment layer switch, and the 3D switch, which we'll get into a few of these a little bit later. Now, in our monitor window, we have a bunch of other switches. We have our zoom, which can be set to anything from 1.5 to 3200 in this case. We have the title safe toggle switch. We can change the resolution to many resolutions to improve render speeds and preview speeds. You can also set the region of interest should you be rendering large compositions and only want to work with a small area. But we'll go ahead and shut that off for now. I also want to show you how to navigate the timeline window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out another instance of some other video clips. This particular one is this smoke clip. And we'll just go ahead and drag another instance of the sunset down here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and line these up at the zero mark. You can also set the in and out points by dragging the ends of each layer like this. This is handy if you're just doing some simple editing once you're inside of After Effects. Now I want to show you how to add effects. With the clip selected, choose the effects menu and go down to an effect. For example, we'll try this fast blur. Immediately an effects control window will pop up that allows you to change the settings for that effect. So in this case, let's increase the blurriness to say about 50. The next thing I want to show you is how to add text. So from the tools menu, let's select the text tool. And by clicking anywhere in the composition window, we can start typing. I'll go ahead and type test. Now, by reselecting the selection tool, we can start moving this clip around, as well as by holding down shift, um, constraining the properties as we resize up. The nice thing about After Effects is your text continuously rasterizes itself so that when you enlarge it, the edges still stay crisp and clean. Anyway, let's go ahead and start understanding some more. The next thing I want to show you is how to create animation by using keyframes. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little drop down arrow next to the test clip that we've just made here. And underneath here, we have a couple of different options. One, we have text options and then we also have transform options. So from the transforms options menu and now we have a bunch of different settings about this clip. We can increase the scale, we can change the rotation, we can change the position, and we can change the anchor point. And the anchor point is basically the pivot point for the layer. So if we change the anchor point, our rotation will now rotate around that specific point. There's also the reset button for bringing it back to the default settings. What I want to do in my first animation is I want to animate this text layer coming from this side of the composition and crossing the composition just like that. So to do that, I'm going to take my text layer and drag it just off the composition window like this. And then 
To set a keyframe, all you do is click on the little stopwatch next to a parameter, in this case, the position. So we'll click on this little stopwatch and we've created a keyframe. Now I'm going to move my playhead forward in time to say about here and then I'm going to take this text layer and drag it across my timeline. Now as you can see it automatically creates an animation path. So if I go ahead and scrub back through this you see that my text layer crosses the composition. So this is how you create animation. Earlier we talked about these switches. Um, I'm going to show you the motion blur switch. So by clicking on this motion blur switch we can also turn on the motion blur global switch for each timeline. So we're going to click on this motion blur switch and as you can see the motion blur starts up immediately for this test layer. So as this layer flies by it is calculating its own motion blur which is very very handy. Let me go ahead and delete these keyframes by dragging a box around them and selecting delete. And I'm going to go ahead and reset my clip position. I want to show you how to perform a basic fade in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning of my text clip here and I'm going to turn on the stopwatch for the opacity parameter. I'm going to turn the value of this to zero and then I'm going to move forward just a little bit in time and I'm going to turn the opacity up to 100. So all I've done is added two keyframes and now I have an animation where my text layer fades in. Another great feature of After Effects is the ability to speed up or slow down clips. Let's go ahead and move this fire smoke layer out of the way for now and I'm going to select this sunset. So with your clip selected, go up to the layer menu and choose time stretch at the bottom. In this dialog we're able to change the stretch factor by a percentage. So I want this to be two times as fast, so I'm going to stretch factor it by 50% and then click OK. So as you can see, my clip has now become shorter and my sunset goes a lot faster than it did before. The next thing I want to show you is masking. So I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these sunset layers as well as this fire smoke layer so that the only thing on my composition window is this sunset clip. So with your clip selected, choose the rectangular mask tool from the tools palette. Then what you can do is just select portions of your clip, just like that. I want to show you the parameters of this mask. So I'll bring this drop down arrow down and now we have a few settings. The first setting is the mode. We can subtract the mode to select everything outside of the mask or add to select everything inside of the mask. We can also feather the edges of the mask. Let's go ahead and remove this mask by just selecting and clicking delete. The next thing I want to show you here is a function called pre-composing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another text box and we'll call this test again and I'm going to duplicate this layer by selecting it and choosing edit duplicate. So now that I have multiple instances of this one text layer and I'm going to choose from the edit menu select all and as you can see we've selected all of our clips in the timeline. Then from the layer menu I'm going to choose pre-compose. So when I select OK you'll notice that all of these elements are now represented by this one pre-comp. I can move this around and all the layers move along with it. Let's go ahead and reset the position of this. The final thing I'll show you is how to export your composition out to a video format so you can use in your nonlinear editor. So the first thing you want to do is from the composition menu choose add to render queue. In the render queue you can choose many settings. For example if I click on this output module I can change my output to any one of these many settings. I can also stretch the video, crop the video and choose if I want to export my audio as well. You can also set the output to and by clicking on this you can tell it where you want to save your video to and once you choose a destination, you just go ahead and click Save and click Render. When the render is complete, you should get a chime. Hopefully this tutorial will get you started in After Effects 6.5 Pro.